welcome our second guest. She's a comedian, actor, and all-round queen bee. She's Ashling B. <laughs> Why did you did you like the the, the Ed's new motorbike photo? It, well, yes, I did. I did. I love the new Ed yeah. Miller branding. Um, but <laughs> I felt so you'll catch on. Yeah, I, it will. But I thought you could have gone a bit further. Right. And I did have a little Photoshop on my telephone during the ad break. Did you? Uh -huh. I did, and I came up with okay. something. I just think like this could be slightly better. Did they have the photo there? Gee, I hope so. Oh I yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> not better. It's not better. <laughs> I think well. that is un I mean that, that is going to stick with me for years to yeah. come. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh, honey. That's, is that yeah. the new <laughs> <laughs> Ed, we do have a proposition for you though. Will you make Ashling's dream come true during this ad break? Will you pose for the Kim and Kanye shot that she had oh, mocked you've got up? To it. I know. All right, go you're on. Tired. Okay, go on. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll find out after the break. See you soon. Welcome back to Last Week, where we're still joined by Ed Miliband and Ashling B, who are currently recreating the famous Kim and Kanye photo. Uh, let's see where they're at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. They've <laughs> <laughs> Ashling, is that...? <laughs> it's, it's a bra... A bra made out of bacon and baths. <laughs> I'm warned. <laughs> wow. Uh, look, I... I th I did take a poll of the audience during the ad break. They think this is going to help your career. Great. <laughs> uh, but they hadn't seen this bit yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> brilliant. I like the T-shirt. I like the T-shirt. <laughs> um, yeah. You, this looks like the Little yeah. Mermaid has gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so well. I re we really didn't consider that we'd have to change afterwards, if, no, I'm, we didn't. if I'm brutally we didn't honest. Think about that, but, but I like that you put back on your jacket. I thought you're so. A gent. I yeah, thought yeah, so. Yeah. Keep, <laughs> up, <laughs> keep up standard. Um, well, I, I definitely... You did a good one. Yeah, I, at one point, fancied myself as sort of like a keyboard player, but like <laughs> when a guitar, mm -hmm. yeah. I want to be like one of those kind of sexy 80s oh, yeah. women. Yeah. And one night, drunkenly, I was like, oh, that's a bargain, it's only £90, that one, because they're quite expensive, those... Uh, Keytars. Key yeah, Keytars, like, they're like four or 500 quid. Yeah. And this is what I ended up... <laughs> uh, ended up buying <laughs> <laughs> and it, it um, yeah. the dog. Oh, yeah, because I was showing this stage earlier, you love the real dog. I'm really into the dog. Oh, actually, it went out when I practiced okay, one. Is that the frog? So this is the guitar, one second. So, Stacey, so this is for you, it. babes. Yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a live band! Yay! <laughs> and this is... If this was... If it was, if it was a cat, it'd sound like this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ashley, and your thoughts on the NHS? Yes, love it. Uh, two weeks ago, I went and got a breast check. Yep. Um, nothing was wrong. I was just lonely and looking for some intimacy. <laughs> but, um, but yes, it was it was amazing to just get because I'd been in America and I felt like this little pain under my arm, and you should always get things checked. And when I was in America, I had no insurance, and the doctor cost me two hundred dollars, and then went and saw this kind of wacky lady with an ultrasound. Uh, I hope was a, some kind of nurse. And um, she's like, "Okay, I'm gonna do it," and I really didn't feel safe with her doing it was about four hundred dollars so just to get a check for my own sense of self wow it was like four hundred six six hundred so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks josh he's got glasses we'll ask him um, <laughs> josh max <laughs> quick <laughs> um, but that was like six hundred dollars just to get that checked and then two weeks ago i was able to come here get it all sorted out and then they put me on a list to make sure once i hit 35 which is in just 15 short years <laughs> 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 Then, because my, my mother had breast cancer, then they're going to check me every year rather than every three years. So, God bless the NHS. It's, yes. a, it's yeah, yeah. absolutely amazing. Ashley Bradshaw. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Please. Thank you from both Miriam's and my own tits. From the bottom of our tits. Thank you. I genuinely don't know who to vote for at this election. 
I'm genuinely struggling, especially out of the two main parties. Do I vote for the party accused of anti-Semitism or the party accused of neglecting vulnerable people? I, I'm kind of looking Ooh, at it... Ooh, it's real selection box, isn't it? I know. <laughs> it's like, what's the least yeah. shit option yeah. at the moment? Oh. I kind of feel like I'm at a restaurant and a waiter's come up and gone, right, do you want the steak that's been dropped on the floor or the chicken that the chef sneezed on? <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, I don't know, what are the greens like? <laughs> I, the thing that I find difficult to take is when people go, I can't vote for Labour because of concerns I have about racism, so I'm going to vote for Boris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like going, oh, my stepmother is a bit mean, so I think I'm going to live with Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole thing does feel a bit like a divorced couple, even your man going on and saying vote for Boris. Like, yeah. that's such a bitchy thing to do. You know, until we were like, well, we're breaking up, but everything's about the kids and we're not going to let it get nasty and it's all going to be fine. And then, like, five months later, she's like, you tell your father that I was having sex with a neighbour last night. <laughs> <laughs> and I was making loads of noise. And you tell him that when he picks you up from the creche later. That's <laughs> 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 what it turned into. That's so mean. Somebody think of the children. We celebrate 70 years of the NHS. We thought we'd bring you up to date with a very important medical finding. Uh, a recent study found that the best way to keep a constant rhythm while applying CPR uh, was to listen to the 90s hit Macarena while doing it. Apparently, the Macarena is just the right beats per minute to keep someone alive. But is that not really dangerous? Because obviously you're, you're there working away and then every time it goes, ah, you have to turn away. I'll be back in three hours. Unless you have maybe four I people you need to I got mixed up. I thought it was Cotton Eye Joe and killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> and I can say, if it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, he'd have survived. <laughs> And look, I think it's fair to say we're all suffering a bit of COVID fatigue at the moment. So we've been scouring the news this week for anything light and fluffy to take our minds off things. And I think we found it. We found something both light and fluffy. So these photos were released this week of what's been dubbed the world's hottest lion. OK. OK. Whoa. <laughs> OK. OK. What, what are we thinking? Uh, I mean, put me in the Coliseum and call me Christian. That's working for me. <laughs> uh, I... When I... My first... My first sexual awakening was Aslan the lion. <laughs> there was something about his shoulders, and I was like, put me in a wardrobe, mummy. Yeah. Um, it was <laughs> it, just the nature of his... I, like, I, I get it. And right. I, I drew, when I was a kid, based on Aslan and Simba, a giant mural in chalk, a life-size mural on my wall of a lion. And I, I must have been like, oh, love lions. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so when, when did you learn to fancy your own species? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't, 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 haven't. He is hot, but he, yeah. he is hot on one hand, but on the other hand, he ate Carol Baskin's first husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I, I just say, like, I, I don't agree... I don't agree with animal testing at all. Mm. But I can't help but feel that that lion's really benefited from being part of that trial for Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I don't like what he's done with his hair. Really? I think it looks effortful, it looks fussy, I, th I think it looks vain. <laughs> I would say, main shaming him, David. I do not fancy that lion any more than I've fancied other male lions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so straight, at, David. Yeah. Let me throw this at you, because this got yeah. us talking during the week and it reminded us of the world's sexiest gorilla that was photographed a few years back. Is, does this work for you a little bit oh. more, David? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, think yeah. he's hot there, you should see him play the drums. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like the way he doesn't look like he's made the effort. In the same yeah, yeah, you know, it's a sort of detached coolness. Yeah, I'm just going to sit in front of this filthy vent. <laughs> <laughs> well, also this and week, you're like I can change him. You can't though. <laughs> 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 also, this week, a photo of a sexy squirrel did the rounds after being snapped in Fife. Oh. See, now, you know what I hate about that? She's just trying to get on with her work. <laughs> 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 Nibble that long. And you're all like, ooh, you're a sexy squirrel. Have you got anything on yours, actually? Yes, so this is from Mairead McGuinness, who is uh, the Irish lady who, in the EU Parliament, this, yeah. uh, gave the talking to, to Nigel Farage. And um, it just said, there's no room for hate here. And then, bye! <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's interesting. What a week, what a year. It's gone to the point where, like, I've stopped tasting wasabi, so I just have to put in my eye to feel anything. <laughs> uh, it has, you look at the year and you think, God, it's gotten to the point now we're all so numb from pain that you're like, I don't know if I will go out this weekend. I've got such a backlog of paedophile documentaries to catch up on. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, 